Hello, welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. Today we're going to be talking about the things that I sold to make just over a thousand dollars. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Margaret. I'm a reselling homeschooling mom. I flip things on eBay, Etsy, and lots of other platforms to help support my family. And if you are interested in videos like this, learning how to flip things to make a profit, then make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified when I put out new videos. Well, let's get started. So I sell all kinds of items, jewelry, hard goods, mostly things like that. I don't generally sell clothes unless it's something really partic particularly unusual or some. sometimes I'll sell shoes if I find some really good deals. Uh, it, just because I don't know as much and it's not really my passion. That's one of the really fun things about reselling is that you can find something that you're really interested in and uh, follow that. But there's a world of possibilities. Anything and everything will sell. So dive in where you like. So first up, we've got this brooch. This is a gold tone fish skeleton brooch that I paid 50 cents for. I believe it came in a jewelry lot. I like to do jewelry unboxings. So I spent maybe 50 cents and sold this for $15 on Mercari. Next up is this hinged mother of pearl shell. It's kind of like a chatelaine, a little purse, but it was really small. This is something that was my grandmother. She had some of these that she used as Christmas ornaments. So there are a few of these that I still had and I decided that I would go ahead and sell them. So it cost me nothing and I sold this for $30. I had four of them and actually you'll see three of them in this video. I think I only have one left. They sold very quickly. So if you see stuff like this, pick them up because uh, the, like I say, three of the four that I've sold, sold within the first few days that I had them listed. I picked up this party light, pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern, candle, tea light holder at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold it for $15. So after fees and shipping and all that stuff, oh, buyer paid shipping. So after fees and all of that, probably made a good 11 to $12 profit. Next up is a bracelet. This is a stretch bracelet. So sometimes I know I've heard people say, you know, that, that stretch bracelets maybe won't sell as well, but there are people that really prefer them. And sometimes it depends on the subject matter as well. So this is a stretch bracelet that's got faux cameos and faux intaglio uh, pieces in it. Uh, they're plastic, but they have that cameo and intaglio look. Intaglio is where it's carved down into it, as you can see on the picture there. And and this again came in a jewelry box so probably 50 cents or less uh, that I paid for this and it sold fairly quickly for $19. Next up is this bracelet. It's an inlaid abalone bracelet that I found at the Goodwill Outlet Bins. That is a pay by the pound site where you can go and it, things are just in bins. It's almost like dumpster diving but indoors. I found this in the bin, so probably cost me less than 10 cents because it weighs next to nothing, and it sold for $11. The next item is this Laurel Birch cat. It's a painted, carved wood figure. Laurel Birch is a pretty good seller. When She makes all kinds of things as far, I mean, it's from jewelry to bags and figurines. I mean, there's lots of Laurel Birch stuff. So once you know the style and the signature, you can find it all over the place. I picked this up for $1.50 at a thrift store and it sold for $11. The next two sales I want to talk about because I use a site called List Perfectly to list my items across all the different platforms that I can. Uh, eBay, Etsy, Mercari, Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace. There's even more, but those are the ones I mainly focus on. And it's like getting my listings out five times faster because I'll make the listing once and then it will automatically list it across all the platforms. I love it because I can get things listed a lot faster in a lot more places because before that I did it by hand and it took a lot, lot longer. Uh, so I just had to give props because this and then the next item, as soon as I got them listed using my List Perfectly um, platform, it uh, they sold within one of them within the same day then the other one the next day so if you're interested i have a 30 percent off coupon down in the description back down below and i've done some other videos about list perfectly uh, so yeah if you're interested in that please use my code so that they know that i sent you over on poshmark i sold this white ghost 
figurine. I paid a dollar for him at a garage sale and it sold for $15. And over on Facebook Marketplace, this was a, one of my grandmother's dolls. If you follow me on Instagram, you got to see I made all kinds of fun little videos with the different dolls that I was listing of hers. Uh, so this was one of her dolls that I still just hung on to. And so it cost me nothing and it sold for $15. Now let's take a look at Etsy. Etsy is a site where you can sell things that are vintage, which is 20 years old or older, uh, things that are handmade or things that are supplies, digital downloads, there's, there's quite a few things. The only thing you can't really sell are new modern things, unless it's a supply to create something else. So next up, we've got this Fisher Price record player. I picked this up at a thrift store for $4 and it sold for $35. If you see on my channel that sometimes there'll be videos that come up, uh, things that like this that move or play music or dance or do things or, or are impacted by the sound. Say I had some wind chimes I wanted to sell. I want to make sure that I have a video for the person who is the prospective buyer so that they can see and hear it, see it working here, what it sounds like. So that's something I did with this. On Etsy, you can put in a, I don't know what it is, 10 or 30 second little clip, but there's no sound. So what I do on Etsy is I put the link to the YouTube video that I create in the listing. On eBay, I can embed it in the listing, but on the other sites, except for I think Poshmark, you can't put any kind of outside links at all. Um, but I make sure to say, you know, hey, check it out because you can get a, a better idea of what it sounds like and how it works. And I find that that really helps my listings when I do that, because if there are 10 other, there's quite a few of these up there, honestly. Uh, but if mine is the one that they can actually see it's working and they can hear how it sounds, then they might be more inclined to pick up the one that I'm selling as opposed to one that they can't really see it functioning. Next up is this Pleasant Valley Bitty Baby doll. This is an American Girl. American Girl dolls, before they were called that, were, called, were made by Pleasant Company. Uh, so I bought this doll for $6 and it sold for $40. Next up are these coasters. I really like these coasters. Odagiri is a really good brand. They make mugs, they make coasters, trays. Uh, so Odagiri coasters that I picked up, they came in a case. I spent $2 on these at a garage sale and they sold for $20. Next is this Pabst Blue Ribbon hat. I really enjoy selling hats. I try to make sure now that they're ones that will sell a little more quickly, but this Pabst Blue Ribbon hat I bought at a garage sale for $3 and it sold for 20 bucks. Next, we have got this Thanksgiving turkey. I bought this for a dollar at a garage sale. It was very small and it sold for $20. This is one of my perfect examples of if you put a high price on it, you might get a high price. It was really small and I second guessed myself a little bit about the price I was putting on it, but because I couldn't find one that was like it out there, I decided that I would take a chance and put uh, $20 on it to see if it would sell for that price and it did. Next up is this cowboy frame. I like selling frames, only I'm really particular about the styles. I try to find ones that are unusual, unless I'm getting them for dirt cheap. Like I've got, I probably have 20 frames in my garage right now that I got at the bins because I could get them for so cheap there. But otherwise, if I'm gonna pay a higher price, more than 10, 15, 20 cents or something like that on them, then I wanna make sure that it's something really unusual that has a really high um, base of somebody trying to buy that um, as far as like cowboys. You'll see, I have another frame coming up in a little bit. But I bought this frame for $2 and it sold for $25. Next up is Buckbeak. Honestly, I had a little bit of a hard time selling Buckbeak because I'm a Harry Potter nut. Go Ravenclaw. Anyway, Buckbeak I picked up for three bucks at Savers and sold for $35. Next is this ring. I've, I've had this actually for a little while. So this ring has been up for a while. I got it in, I believe a jewelry jar or a jewelry box. It's been a while. Normally I keep note of that, but I didn't on this item, but I spent, so I'll say probably about 50 cents was spent on it and it sold for $20. Next is this brass gavel. It wasn't very large, but I love picking up brass items that are figural, whether it's an animal. I had never really seen a gavel before and I knew that there were lots of different types of professions that might like a gavel or just a mom that's lost it. Anyway, we'll, <laughs> we'll leave that there. Um, so I spent $2 uh, 
on this and it sold for 20 bucks. Now we are moving on to eBay. So my eBay sales lately, this is a sterling silver bracelet that I bought for a dollar and it sold for $45. I took a best offer on this one. This little doll was another one that was one of my grandmother's. It didn't have any arms, but it was so sweet. So I didn't pay anything for this because it was part of my grandmother's collection and it sold for $10. The next item that sold were these Santa nesting dolls. I paid $1 at a garage sale for these Santa nesting dolls and they sold for $30. I wanted to point out that as you've seen throughout the video, you've seen things that were Halloween or Thanksgiving and now Christmas, and we are smack dab in the middle of summer. So I want to encourage you to make sure you're listing things no matter the season because they will sell year round. Next is this bag. I sell, I like to sell purses, but I don't buy them too, too much. Cause again, it's sort of not my wheelhouse, but I was at a garage sale and these purses were a dollar. She had shoes for a dollar. I walked out of there. I spent so much. Well, I didn't spend that much, but I got a lot of stuff. Anyway, I bought this for a dollar at that garage sale and it sold for $20. I want to talk a little bit about this next listing. This is a vintage Lego systems Belleville set. It's incomplete. I bought it at a garage sale for $5 and I wanted to point out that I put a really high price on it. I put 70, basically $78 on it because I couldn't find another one like it. I couldn't find one, you know, might find parts of it, but I couldn't find one that was almost complete. And so I really stuck to my guns with holding on to this price. Let me flip over to show you some. So I got a number of messages asking me to break the set up. I had people messaging me, I'm trying to get to where you can see all of them, saying, you know, can I just buy the figures? Can I just buy the horses? Can I just buy the, the riders? Uh, and they were offering, you know, not, not this much, but I knew that if I broke the set up and just sold the figures that the rest of it, I might have an even harder time selling. So I didn't just sell, you know, I didn't break the setup to, to do that. Uh, and it did eventually sell. It took a little bit longer, but I was willing to wait because I knew I could get the higher price for it. And it did work out. So I bought that for five bucks and it sold for $78. Next is this copper butterfly bug brooch that I got at a garage sale. It was in a bag with some other I think scarf clips and things like that. But when I saw that, I knew like, okay, that's the thing I want from this bag. All the things in the bag were a quarter. So I put that I paid a quarter for this, but technically it was even less than that because it was all a quarter and it sold for 25 bucks. Next is this watch face. I have had this for a really long time. I bought a lot at an auction before I moved uh, and it had watch watch parts and watch tools and I've broke the lot apart and sold them off piecemeal. Some of it sold really quickly. Some of it clearly took a while to sell, but I would say probably about 50 cents on this and it sold for $9. Here is another item that I sold that I put a video into my listing. This is a Bachman Canyon Chief train that I picked up at Goodwill for $13 and I sold it for $100. This went to Australia. So if you aren't doing international sales, you might consider it. It's not as hard or scary as you might think it is. And there are things that people can't get overseas and they're willing to pay the shipping to get what they want. I did, when I created this, and I, I'm going to scroll down to show you the video. Um, you know, I put the video into the listing as we talked about, and I had a number of people I know personally asking uh, to buy it from me. And as much as I wanted, I mean, I would make a deal to a certain extent for, for something like this. For smaller things, I wouldn't mind so much, but uh, as this is how I support my family, I couldn't really give, you know, friends a good deal on this because I really needed to, you know, this is going to be one of my big ticket items. I, I think I offered a couple of friends like maybe $75 uh, if you want to buy it from me and they didn't want to, but that's okay uh, because I had to keep in mind, I really wanted to, to get a good price on it. They wanted to get it for a little less than that. But again, this is how I make my money, you know, and, and so I just had to say, no, I think I'm gonna, gonna stick with, with my price. So here's the video. It opens up in a new tab and, you know, nothing fancy. I just have one of those 
whiteboards behind it that you would use for like a science fair project. Did it on the floor, carpet and all, uh, to show it going back and forth and the sounds it make and all, and all that stuff. There it is, you can hear it in all its glory. Okay, so if you're able, put a video in your listing. I got the spinning ball of death now. Uh, but again, you know, I like to help my, not help, but I, you know, I like, I like to be accommodating to family and friends. Frequently, if it's a five, ten dollar item, like whatever, it's not a big deal. But when it's something like this, I can't just basically give it away. All right, now we're looking at the other shell little purses. They're, I mean, they were so small. I hate to call them a purse, but they're, I don't know what else you would call them. Uh, my grandmother, again, she had these. She used them on her Christmas tree. Her tree was all pink and white or off-white colors. Anyway, it was really pretty. That was her, her signature was pink. Uh, and so I know here it says $55.99, but it was the combination of the two. They sold, one sold for $32, one sold for $22 here like so. So it was these two that sold together and yeah, that still doesn't add up. But anyway, one, one was about 30 something dollars and the other was 20 something dollars that I took offers on for those. So there you have it. So next up is this heart ring. I got it in a jewelry jar and it's uh, so about maybe about 50 cents and it sold for $10. Next up is this fossil wallet. I picked it up at a garage sale for a dollar and it sold for 20. I think this was actually in yesterday's video that I did the garage sale with me and showed it in that video. Then we have a pair of earrings. These were 25 cents at a garage sale and they sold for $10. I can honestly say I'm glad to see this go. <laughs> this I've had probably since I started selling jewelry. I think I might have one or two left, but I got them for pretty cheap, 50 cents. And they've, they, oh, They've just been here forever. So I sold this one for $10. I already got it listed. Might as well just leave it listed. What, you know, what am I going to do? Take it down and check it or something? All right, 10 bucks. See ya. This cat doorstop sold. I'm not even sure I got to show this in a haul video yet. It sold really, really fast. So this is a very heavy cast iron painted doorstop that I picked up for $5 and it sold for $28. All right, I posted about this frame today on Instagram because it's sold within 24 hours of me listing it. And it's a really cool double frame and it's got the bubble glass that kind of domes out. I'd never seen a small frame like this and honestly probably could have listed it for more because this, and here's what I posted on Instagram about it. I got an offer. Someone sent me a best offer of 20, 25 bucks for this. And I couldn't get to my phone. So I was just like, well, I'll get to that later uh, to accept because you have 48 hours to accept it. But keep in mind, if you've just listed something and it's within the first, I would even say the first week, wait and see because I didn't get to it. And probably six hours later, somebody else came through and bought it for the full price. So anytime you get a, a best offer, if you do best offers, keep that in mind that that if you've listed it and it's you get a best offer really quick on it, then you might have another one coming through. You might even think about raising your price. Next is this Sweetheart expansion bracelet. It definitely had some condition issues. I bought it for $10 and it sold for $32. This Santa was in my video from yesterday too, my garage sale with me. I bought this for 75 cents at a garage sale and it sold for $15. I got these snowman nesting dolls at the same time I got the Santa nesting dolls and I bought them for a dollar and again, sold for 30 bucks. And then here we've got this, the price is different because I took a best offer on this one, but I have had this for a little while, but this is another one. I couldn't find one like it. I put a big price on it and I waited. So it took a little bit longer for this one to sell. I bought this for $5 and it sold for $70 today. I hope the takeaway you get from this is that you can see a wide variety of things sell. You can sell things all year round and just jump in there. It doesn't have to be something really super fancy or high end or got a big brand name on it. If it's cool, if you think someone will like it and if it's in fairly decent condition, it can sell. Again, go over there and hit that subscribe button and the bell. Leave me a comment. Let me know what's been selling for you and I will talk to you later. Bye everybody.